What's going on YouTube? GSNode8 here. Today Apple has seeded the iOS 11.4 Beta 1 and we're going to discuss about it and what it contains. So if you take a look on the Apple Developer Portal in here, if you have an account, you can check it out and it says iOS 11.4 Beta. Now it came very very quickly compared to other betas and that is a couple days after the release of the iOS 11.3 which is a little bit dubious but you have to know that Apple was planning to release the iOS 11.4 at the time when iOS 11.3 came out. They were already working on the first beta. I have no idea what were the problems inside Apple but they had 11.4 planet. They even talked about it on the last event. But anyways let's see what's going on. Well if you go ahead in here and update from 11.3 in my case on a 7 plus you can see that it has 2.19 ish gigs in here but it's nothing interesting you should update for that's the reason I didn't install it yet because there is nothing to review actually so the main feature that it brings back is the messages you know iMessages and the iCloud feature that has been removed from 11.3 final version that was a thing in the initial versions of the 11.3 beta it's a little bit of a problem in there with the iMessages and the iCloud for the moment but the iOS 11.4 developer beta 1 seems to fix that and give that back to the user. Other than that, doesn't seem to contain anything important you should update for. So for the moment, if I was you, I would pretty much skip the um, iOS 11.4 beta 1, as it's nothing interesting, it's nothing important, unless you really need that iMessages and iCloud uh, feature. But anyways, if you want to download it, you will need to go ahead and get the profile. The profile, as I said, is available on the Apple Developer Portal. You press the download button and it will ask you to get the profile. Profile. The build number is also in there, 15F. Uh, 5037C. And if you download the profile, it will ask you to do this. You can see in here it says uh, iOS beta software profile. You click install, put your passcode, and restart the phone. And once you do that, you will be able to pretty much have the update in there. Let me show you settings. We're going to go back in here, software update. And as you can see, it checks for the update and it will pretty much get the 11.4 beta 1. But as I said, do skip it. It's not important unless you really need that iMessages feature. So yeah, that's pretty much it about the 11.4 uh, beta 1. Really nothing to say about it. It's just a plain iOS 11.3-ish bug fixes continuation thing. It's really not feeling like a new beta. I think they will continue to add more features to it, like in the beta 2, 3, 4 or whatever, but for the moment the beta 1 really seems to be something they forgot to add on the 11.3 or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.